Welcome back, lads and ladies, to the first of the last three games of this weekend's uh, Six Nations. I believe they're all on today, all three games, so I'll be definitely sitting down and enjoying those for you guys. I'm sitting a bit awkwardly because I've got uh, a bed next to me. It's because we've got our nephew over for a uh, continuation of weeks or so. It's just trying to sort himself out because he's a little bit of a thing out with his girlfriend and all that. So we're just keeping him here for now. This match is really interesting. Italy somehow have managed to scrape a comeback here, if possible. But Scotland are really fighting with a good interception here. Uh, Scotland have three tries while Sicily have one, but they have like three penalty points, which means that's at least nine points. So they're only behind by five points, really. So if Italy can get a try here within the last ten minutes, then it's a possibility for them to actually do what they did last year against Wales, this year against Scotland. This is really, really iffy. My battery is a little bit low at the moment, so if it just cuts off immediately, then I can only apologise. Can't find my charger anywhere, so hopefully I'll be able to find it, get this charged up, and then be able to finish this off for the rest of you guys. But Italy, with the line out, they catch it. They've made so many muck ups in the second half, in the first 20 odd minutes, then into the 30th. They finally managed to get a try down in the corner. Missed the conversion, but that didn't matter. The penalty saved them in the end. Italy are now pushing closer and closer. The problem is, is that Scotland's rush defence is pretty good, and they took it away from them. They snatched it away from them again. Yet another lovely little turnover there by Scotland. Scotland smartly kick it, where Italy have not been kicking as often, but when they do, they actually do pretty damn good. Garbisi takes the ball quickly and kicks it. A nice kick there from Garbisi for once. I mean, it was actually Garbisi's chip uh, kick. Like, he punted it through two defenders, and then that's when they tried. It's Scotland ball, but it's been charged down by Italy. The ref's saying something, but they're not listening. They're just playing the game, and too rightly so, they should. Because honestly, we've stopped and started this game too much. Just carry it on. It's still Scotland's ball, even though it was charged down. Scotland taking this as slow as they like. Nearly within Scotland's 30 metre line. They've just broke it. Scotland taking this very slowly. Okay, no, you blocked the ball there. Oh, no, I don't think so, Rev. He didn't get pushed into it, he fell onto it. Alright, well, Scotland's take the kick. It's into touch for Italy. This is interesting, this game. Very interesting. Both sides have had brilliant defence. This has been one of the closer games. Italy play very oddly in a certain sense. Like they play super well against the top sides like Ireland and France. They're kind of average against England. And then it's, it's just all blew up in their face against Wales. I will say that was mostly due to the last week's officiating because that was just disgusting what the ref was doing, basically. Like, you can easily tell that there were some problems going on there with the officiating. Chris telling off the entire teams on both sides because they're not lining up properly. Take it quickly, take it quickly. And they fluffed it, they fluffed it. It's Scotland's ball. But it doesn't matter, it's been knocked on. It's Italy's ball again. No, no, no. Oh my god, that was an interception! Oh my god, Scotland intercepted it. Italy's pass. What's going on? I think that was a knock on. That might have been a knock on. Yeah. 
There's enough on by Scotland, which means they're going to scrum for Italy. Yeah, that was the immediate turnover. But then I thought we carried on play. I guess never mind. If that play would have carried on, Scotland would have gotten themselves a try there. Good call from the ref to stop it there. But the problem is with this ref is that he lets it play on for a bit too long. So, you know, if you see a knock on, call it. Don't just, like, wait for, like, a phase or two and then say, oh, no, we're going back for the knock on. Come on now, just <laughs> just play the advantage or something, you know. They only have some wiggle room, they're not in their 22, they're just out of it, but this means they could at least make a run. And it's a free kick to Italy, never mind, they don't have to run. Six minutes left in the match. I want them to win. I want I want Italy to win, man, because they honestly deserve it. They put so much fight in this season just to get robbed last weekend. Like I don't think they were robbed. Like Wales played very good, only to the point when the officiating really started to like dig in. Like you have to notice, like when you charge someone in the air and they land on their head. And you don't give a warning to that person who charged them in the air, like you challenge them in the air like that and they land on their head. You know something's wrong with the officiating, basically. Five minutes left for Italy to do something here. Italy have a very good opening start here. They're on the wing, they're running, they're running. Oh, but Van der Mer always caught him and Italy dropped the ball. Which now means it's Scotland's ball. But they somehow wrench it back. Italy just wrenched it back. Oh, come on. Five minutes in. Can they try? Can they try? They're going. They're going on the left. Oh, but they've got stopped by Scotland. Oh, come on. Come on. There's no defence. Is that advantage? Advantage has been played to Italy. They're going to throw to the wing. They're going to try and chip. It didn't work. It went for the line out. They're going to go back for the advantage. Honestly, I don't know what to do in the situation. I would have took maybe the three points because Scotland's defence is damn near impenetrable. In this late stage of the game, I don't think Italy have much left in the tank. I'd say take the three points and then just hope and pray you can get up the other end and then cause another mistake. Nope, they're going for the line out. They're going for the line out. Never mind. These boys are going for the win. Let's go, lads. Let's go. They're going for the win. <laughs> oh my god, oh my god. Come on, come on, come on. This is Italy's to lose, honestly. This is Italy's to lose. They are in their five meter line. They have to hit this line out. If they miss this line out, line out's good. They've collapsed the rum, the rum, the ruck. Is that an advantage? Ref doesn't call advantage for some reason. I thought the Scottish player just dropped in front of the freaking ruck, but okay. It's still going. Italy's still moving a little bit forward. They're getting closer and closer. They're pushing. They're pushing so close. Scotland have to get so close to one another to stop the Italian train coming. Passing on the inside. Oh my god, that was nearly held up, but he had to drop just before the line, so it wasn't held up. No, 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 God, BC, no! Oh my god, they dropped the ball. Oh, never mind, Van der Merwe was offside. Penalty to Italy! Penalty to Italy. Oh, he was offside. Oh, it wasn't Van der Merwe, it was Jack Denson. I'd say do the scrum. I don't know what I say I say go for the scrum 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 it scrum it they're gonna quick tap it oh that's not a good idea oh my god they're gonna quick tap it and then run into the freaking Scottish wall I'd, I'd have gone for the scrum and then gone to the wing that's one of the easiest options five meters out oh my god Oh, please, please, guys, please, come on, come on. They're going to try and throw to the wing. There's too many bodies. There's too many Scottish bodies. It's advantage, Italy. If they're going to do it, they've got to do it now. Oh, my God! Oh, 
Oh my god, they spilt it. At the last second, they spilt it. Oh my god. Oh my god. Come on, that's the second penalty. That's got to be a yellow to Scotland. What's going on? Yeah, two quick succession penalties within your area. You're just going to give a warning. You give the warning on the first one, and on the second one, if they don't heed it, then I'd suggest a yellow. Wow. Italy are going to quick tap it again. But Scotland are ready for it this time. Defence impenetrable. Italy inching, inching closer. Yeah, inching closer. It's 